here. Let's switch gears down to the big game on Sunday, Super Bowl 51. You've got the Falcons, you've got the Patriots, you've got Tommy, you've got the presumptive MVP. Uh, Matt Ryan's been playing good football. Who do you like in Super Bowl 51? Because both of these teams have a different mission to win it. You know, it's interesting. It seems like whatever I tune into now, it's trendy to pick Atlanta. And I understand, given the way Matt Ryan has played, given the way Matt Ryan and Julio Jones have, have gone, given the, the way that offense has been so explosive and the defense has actually shown up two weeks in the playoffs. However, my, my analysis of this is pretty simple. Who's got Belichick and Brady? <laughs> And, you know, if they were split and one was on one side and one was on the other, I might be tempted to lean, I don't know, be stuck. I'm not stuck. Belichick and Brady, particularly Belichick, with two weeks to figure out what to do. Can he make that defense look like it did the Atlanta defense, which gave up 406 points in the regular season? Can he make them look like they did in the regular season as opposed to the two weeks of playoff games where they've been really terrific? I'm going with him. And you know what? If the Atlanta Falcons wind up winning this game, mm -hmm. I, I, that is really an accomplishment. It'd be great. I don't expect a blowout. I expect a close game. New England always seems to win them close when they win them, the four times they've won. But I got to see somebody sort of count out the New England Patriots back on the mat. And I don't see that happening Sunday. If it does, Great result, but I'm going with Belichick and Brady until proven otherwise. Yeah, and that Falcons offense predicated on big plays. It's a Patriot defense that doesn't give up big plays, especially beyond 20 yards. It'll, see, it'll be interesting to watch this game and see which quarterback can make the biggest play uh, when their team needs them.